Oh my God, it's everything. So Donald Trump, they raid Mar-a-Lago. They find you know another truckload of papers, drag them out. Merrick Garland says, yeah, show them whatever you want. That's what the video is going to be about. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So that's exactly right. I mean, all of this stuff has happened, and it's all finally coming to a head. So honestly, I don't know what I'm going to ask, but uh, we'll go through it and uh, see what uh, maybe a couple of uh, draws of the uh, tarot cards will tell us about what is going on and is it over. I don't know. I can only say this should be very interesting. Uh, so the Templar uh, Tarot, uh, the journey is what we're going to use here. I'm not sure if I'll use the Oracle cards that are part of this. We'll think about it because I think this is going to be a pretty phenomenal uh, read today. Man, who could, who would have dreamed that he'd finally get caught? In incredible. So, okay, so it's everything that he's done uh, from the beginning. Uh, if you go way back, uh, he was having um, had the Russian uh, foreign minister and his pal in the Oval Office at the very beginning of his presidency, like I think it was a month or two in, and uh, leaked uh, secrets of another country. Not even our secrets. He leaked the secrets of another country to them. And they just laughed and, you know, like they didn't know anything and then got back to their office and said, did you hear what he just revealed? So that was that. And then... More recently, of course, it's the Saudis uh, uh, celebrating their uh, new golf concern uh, with all these uh, golf pros who are in it for the money and don't care that the king uh, had a guy uh, hacked up and dissolved. Okay, when he was going into the uh, embassy to get a marriage license. So his fiance was waiting, I think in the car, but certainly at home. He never came out, obviously. Well, he didn't come out, <laughs> you know. Um, then uh, there's uh, another time with the Saudis um, where, oh, and then plus Jared Kushner is always uh, over there in the hip pocket or the uh, under the shawl of those uh, Arab uh, kings, which look like they're martyrs. So it'll be all of that. We'll just play it by ear. I might even use these oracle cards. We'll see. But first, before you do anything, anything, let's have a minute of meditation. So the first thing I want to know, and remember, of course, there was the meeting with the Putin that uh, wasn't recorded, so we don't know what was said in there. That, that um, uh, stenographer, who I think was in there but not uh, typing, needs to tell everything she knows, if she hasn't already. So, because lots of people have come forward. So let's start at the beginning. So, did he reveal or make some promises? regarding nukes to Putin. Because you have to remember, this Satan missile that uh, nuke uh, that uh, Putin is going to be putting into service soon has been developed all during each year of the presidency of Donald Trump. It started before that, but um, it's made considerable progress and ready to launch. Um, so. so the original meeting with Putin that we don't know anything about. Let's have three cards and see if we want to do three more. Okay, so this will be... Let me do a hacker. Is that one? They are thick and they're new, and so you can't really tell how many cards you pulled. That's two. Plus, I'm not used to them. Three. Okay. And I think, just for the heck of it, I'm going to shuffle these uh, up here and use them like oracle cards, which are these are just uh, the life journey cards that come with this. 
you down this way so you can see them. I never understand why uh, we shuffle the cards uh, the back side up. It's more interesting to look at this. It's not like we can, I mean, maybe some people could control it. You know, it's random wherever they land. So, see if we use those. I don't know. But uh, right now, we're going to see. What's the first card for, did this start with Putin in that meeting? I've got these upside down. Yeah, they're all upside down. Okay, so this would be like this. And the first card is the same card. So this is the King of Swords. King of Swords. You know, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. We're asking the question, did it start with Putin on that day? King of Swords. Hmm. And look at this scale of justice that he happens to be holding in the other hand. That's interesting. Okay, let's see. I've got to take my pocket out of my, my phone out of my pocket. Now the next card, then... It's going to be this Five of Cups. Okay, so Five of Cups. Cups are uh, compassion, emotion. You know, this is a heartfelt situation. Someone here is, is just broken. There's one, two, three, four, five cups. Three of the cups, the majority of what they have has been spilt. But look, they've still got two cups left. Looks like Putin and Trump to me. What's the last one? Oh, I drew too many, so I've got two more cards. That's very good. Okay, I really believe it. whatever happens during the draw was supposed to happen, so we go with it. Okay, so now we have the High Priestess. Okay, so this is the number two card in the Fool's Journey. You see it right down here, and this is the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is all-knowing. Um, this is She's uh, one of the first people that uh, the Fool meets on his journey to imbibe him with the knowledge, or the, at least the um, enthusiasm, for the task ahead. So was... Yeah, and this also could be Russia. And then the final card, just because it made its way out, is going to be the full, a new journey. So that was the beginning of the journey. Yep. So, yeah, that meeting was the beginning of it because now he's in office. Okay, he can tell the big boss, Putin, what he's going to do. Um, it starts out with uh, Putin. Uh, he's laying down the law. Okay, he's laying down the law. Um, Trump, by this time, needs a favor, and he's just got a little bit to bargain with. And um, in the end, uh, Russia is the um, uh, is the is the high priestess. So it started with. I'm going to use these at the end. So it started with that. Now, what about that meeting with the Russian foreign minister? Was that just uh, an idiot? Or just stupidity? That was nothing planned. And maybe that's when they realized, oh my God, we can get lots of stuff out of him if they didn't look already. So the meeting with uh, the Russian foreign minister at the first part of his pre uh, presidency was that um, part of this Russian um, scheme. Three cards. Okay. One, two, and three. Was that Russian foreign minister that was in his office and he revealed some secret of another country, as a matter of fact, by mistake, was a part of the plan, Russia's plan. The first card out is, look at this, the nine of pentacles. This uh, tells that pentacles are value and worth. And this tells us this person here, who's the subject of this, uh, the answer to this, is uh, really imbibed with a lot of worth, okay? Almost more than she can hang on to. Sounds like Trump. At the time, he had so much knowledge from the Oval Office, he was just dying to tell people what he knew, like a kid. Uh, these are the lover's card. Oh, yeah, he was looking for a partner. He was looking for a partner. And he was wooing them with his, um, you know, the knowledge and with his, he's so suave and sophisticated. And, then, and and awed by them, actually. And then the final card for whether it was involved, as, oh, yeah, it was a wheel of fortune. They, it would just happen by chance. It was just happened by chance, but all the elements were there. So uh, Trump, it was they were the ministers were there because they knew what low hanging fruit would be there for the picking because he was so uh, valuable, uh, and he was looking for someone to um, love up to, and it the, the just happened to be a wheel for the um, for the ministers. Okay, let's take it to the more current. Let's go right to the. Uh, Saudi um, prince. Um, is he king or is he just a prince? Um, and uh, was that at the golf course after the presidency is over and he's got these nuclear secrets um, that he thinks the government doesn't think he has in the, in the basement without a lock on the door. I think the Saudis knew they were there. I think they went in and took a look. 
set the Saudis. Was, were they part of this nuclear uh, compromise? Were the Saudis part of this nuclear compromise uh, with Trump? You know, well, but working together on this thing. Let's do three cards to begin with, probably two six altogether. So one, two, and three. Okay. This recent situation with the Saudi prince uh, and this golf uh, conglomeration conglomerate that's been uh, st kicked off at uh, Trump's uh, golf courses uh, is this part of that whole nuclear plot? Um, were they aware of what was there? Do they? Let's see what the cards tell us. Okay, so we start out here with how many is this? This is the five of wands. The five of wands is oh. As a matter of fact, so this is typically represented in the Rider Waite deck by uh, a bunch of people, the five people, as a matter of fact, each with a staff, kind of fighting with each other, being a menace to each other, uh, causing um, um, harm, but, but nothing deadly, just a nuisance and unresolved. So, so it looks like it was an opportunity. There was a confusing enough opportunity uh, to get themselves in. Next card as to whether the recent Saudi Gulf uh, meeting, uh, look at this, balancing two pentacles, balancing the value, and it's in putting it in the books, okay? They were working the deal. And then the last card, well, I'm, probably the Saudis didn't know the stuff was down there, and I bet they're kicking themselves now. And the last part of this is the uh, priest, which is the hierophant, and that's the government. So the last part of that was the government. How do we take that? Is it him giving up the government? Is the government, the Saudi government, getting the advantage? Is it our government? Uh, and it's a shame because it looks like we honestly, truly didn't know about this until now, very recently. You know, and we should have known about it the whole time. But this is government. So um, yeah, they were part of it. They were looking for an opportunity, like anyone when they come to meet Trump, looking for an opportunity. Now let's uh, get to the penalty phase of our day. Will, simple enough, will he go to prison? Will Trump go to prison for this? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go to prison, and at the end, I'll use uh, some of these cards also. Okay, signifier card for this diet at cross, it could become something else. Um, as to whether he will go to prison, it's ripe for the picking, just like we said in the first. I love when the cards repeat and they have such special meaning. Yeah, he was right for the picking, then he's right for the picking now. Lots of value in that Knight of Pentacles. Uh, the challenge to it is, of course, the Six of Swords uh, moving out of trouble water. So the challenge is, to it is, in fact, um, his ability to escape uh, blame. But I have to say, usually this card is depicted in a more confident way. There's a person behind who just seems like they're usually you know, steering that boat with some conviction, and the person in front does seem a little fragile. But this one, everyone looks... Uh, really affected by this. And you'll notice that the protection is actually behind them. It's not in the front of the boat leading the way. It's uh, in the boat. So I would say that uh, his uh, moving out of troubled water, but poorly equipped and uh, really uh, fragile is uh, the challenge to all the value that he is. The base of this thing then, uh, with this page of cups, oh yeah, it's a small little offer that, that we can bring of some kind of compassion or um, forgiveness. Uh, the past of this, as to whether he'll go to prison, temperance. We have to understand where, well, it's in, but it's in the past. Temperance is in the past. Is it too, is, is the time for that past? In the sky of this, we have this king of uh, coins. So king of value, that's him. That's who's in the sky. Is he going to do time? Okay. And here we have the page of coins. A page is very little value, and a coin is a small message of value. And we're asking, is he going to do time? This looks like there might be a small payment that has to be made, maybe of some kind of incarceration, because we are asking about incarceration, and I think that's clear uh, in the question. But let's just take uh, three more cards from here, and then I'll pick one card from here to finish this uh, uh, Celtic Cross. So regarding whether he'll do time, just extending that question, will he do time? <coughs> Sorry. So let's take um, 
very self of that question about him doing time. Betrayal. Wow. That is phenomenal. I ask if he's going to do time. I want the very self of that question. And the center of the question is betrayal. The environment that that betrayal is in. Oh, what is this? Fecundity. I don't know what that is. I really have to look that up. Fecundity. Betrayal. And the harvest is ripe. Hopes and fears. Affinity. So affinity is almost telling you this is predestined. And then the final card, I'll take it right out of the middle here. As to um, the final outcome for all of this. And we have simply the Ace of Wands. A great big offer of moving on. A plan. Man. So we just have to learn the lesson and move on and accept his punishment, however, however unsatisfying it may be. Well, that had to get done. Of course, you'll see it a day or two after I really made it, which is when everything happened. So it's a little delayed, but at least it's here for posterity. So uh, I hope you agree with the cards. Let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comments or tell me what you want me to read on and I'll read on that. Bye. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these are Templar Tarot The Journey. Cool cards. They've got an interesting packaging, but I'm not a big fan of it, and you'll know why in a second. So this is a sleeve that covers the main box, and I guess it's meant to look like a book. This looks like the spine of the book, maybe the front of the book, maybe the back of the book, and maybe the pages inside of the book. Beautiful and in decent quality, but when it's new and you're trying to get this apart, you see I've left it a little open so I can get in here. When it's pressed together, it is hard to get this apart because this is so packed with good stuff uh, and it's a shame that the good stuff that's in there uh, has that stigma of being in this box. You can see here that I actually tore the box when I first opened it when it was new trying to get stuff out. Okay, now the, the um, booklet. It's a beautiful booklet. Uh, got lots of good ideas for divination in here. It's got some good depictions of the cards in here and um, so it's a great book. It's a lot of good information inside. When you open it up, the first few pages you can see they've not spared any expense to make this seem like quality. So if you gave this as a gift, I mean, this really redeems it from being hard to get out of the box. The plus that you get with this are these extra cards uh, right here. Uh, and what I mean by extra cards, this is like a gift. The first thing you have is a um, gift card. I mean, you could fill this out and send it to someone as a as a gift card for some special occasion. So nice that you get that. Then you have actually uh, postcards uh, here. So you got a place for a stamp, you can fill it in. And then the cards, this is a good example of the art that's inside that box. So this is the kind of thing you're going to see when you get into the box. And these may even be some of the depictions inside there on the cards. I haven't double double checked to make sure. But so you get these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven postcards and one gift card. So all nice. Now uh, you're going to see what's actually inside the uh, cards themselves. Where can I put this? Let's put it right there. So the other problem I have with this deck is you have to dump the cards out to get them. And I never liked that. How hard would it have been to include a string that kind of pulls them up? It wouldn't have been hard at all. But the first thing I'm going to show you is that you've got the extra cards. So there's the, right here in this box at this very moment is the full set of tarot cards, Major Arcana, the Pip cards, everything. So you can do a reading right now with those cards. These are extra. So these are called uh, the journey and included in these cards are, you know, a few of these cards are for birth, a few of these cards are for life, and a few of these cards are for death. And so, th and this is not specifically in this order, I'm just making an example here. So these cards are called the journey of birth, life, and death. And then how do they look actually? Well, they're beautiful. And so you could use these as oracle cards, you could replace the major arcana, take the major arcana out and put these cards in. You'd have a couple of extra cards though, because there's 23 of these. Um, but you can see that they're beautiful cards. They've got interesting um, uh, titles on them for divination. And so there you go. So yeah, how you would use these cards is completely up to you. You can even just mix them in with the regular tarot deck and just have these extra uh, cards that you, that you use. Okay, now the regular tarot cards. So here they are. 
They've got a good um, quality, a nice weight to them. They're beautiful cards. These are still new, so they're kind of sticking together. You know how they do before you get a lot of air between the cards. But the uh, thing about these, and they use the very clear Rider weight um, iconography, uh, of course, in the style of uh, Templar uh, art. And you can see here, like, this is the One of Pentacles, very clear. Uh, this is the Ten of Cups, very clear. This is the King of uh, Wands. So they're easy. These are the Lovers. It says it right here, and this is number six of the Major Arcana. So they're very easy to use uh, for divination. So I like the cards. I haven't really used them yet. I'll probably use them for the first time um, maybe today or tomorrow. On Oh, I don't want to mix these up. And, um, and see how all that goes. So here we go. You've got them. You saw them here first. The Templar Tarot, The Journey. So very interesting. And uh, I think they're great. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.